Hi everyone, perfect day to make a video as I've got a power cut. I've had no power for about five minutes now. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to stay off, but it's blowing an absolute gale outside. Uh, this week we're going to do facial hair, and I thought I'd do Michael Bublé. And he got, he's got quite a range of different sort of stubble, from quite short to sort of thick around the chin. So I thought it would be a good one to do. So I will go into the voiceover with it. Alright. First things first is to always treat stubble or beard the same as shadows on a face normally. Always take into account the light and the dark areas. As you can see here I'm just filling in the little groove in the upper lip and that's a bit darker on each edge there. With a very sharp H pencil, mark uh, where your stubble will go. Just press really lightly and go with the direction of where it's going with the face. And then you can also get your cotton wool or Q-tip and blend a bit. And that will give you a bit of a base. And then on top of that, you can add more darker stubble as well. I'm rubbing out the edge of the face because when you've got stubble or a beard, there is no hard line like as if you've only got normal skin there. You've got a jagged line where there's all the little hairs and that's what I'm putting in there and that will make it look more realistic as well. But you can always put that sort of vague line in first of all so that you know roughly where the face is going to go and you've got the proportions correct. Don't expect to get things correct straight away. Here you can see I just rubbed out one edge of the chin and I actually realised that the chin should be a bit longer so I'm making a new line there. And this is key to any drawing, you're just going to build it up as you go along and with the stubble, do your base layer with the H pencil and then you can take a darker pencil and add more depth to it as well, um, which I've talked about in previous tutorials. Just keep building up the layers and it will come to life. It might seem a bit silly me saying this, but do go with the direction of the stubble. Uh, stubble isn't going to grow kind of horizontally, it's more of a vertical thing. Uh, so take that into account as well. And as you can see, I'm just building it up here, just adding more layers. Then I just continued adding depth with, depth with the 2B. And I also added some shading under the jawline, you can see there, that makes it look more realistic. And also under the lip, and to the side on his right side where there's a bit more shadow playing and that just makes it look more realistic as well. Alright, I hope that was helpful and uh, don't forget that stubble isn't all the same shade so do vary it and uh, that should help you. Alright, see you next week. Bye!